Darian Kennard, the pride of the Big Blue, the University of Kentucky, great career up there. Congratulations on all of that. What does it mean to you that while you were there, Kentucky went to a completely different level in terms of not only record, but perception football-wise? Uh, it meant a lot uh, coming in. I knew I was going to be on the front of the train, changing that program. Uh, I mean, it was already being changed by a lot of the older guys. I came in uh, just to really help that effort, and I feel very proud of that. Uh, I have a lot of pride for that. Uh, I know Coach Schlarman would feel a lot of pride for that. Uh, he was probably one of the biggest guys and uh, at the forefront of it and changed that program, especially uh, having everybody lean on the big blue wall. There's just a lot of pride there. So for you, as you go to this next level, how much do you think it helps your perception as a player that you were one of the guys who helped change Kentucky and as we draft him, hey, maybe he's going to come in and help us go to a next level too. Right. Uh, I think the perception is there. Uh, definitely uh, take pride in that. You know, I'm coming in. I came in with the right mindset to work and make sure, you know, everybody takes the next step to the next level. Uh, I think we're all going to have an enjoyable uh, career, and I feel like any, any team I go to, I'm going to get the better out of them, and I'm going to do the best I can for that team. I think your hands measured the biggest at the entire yeah. senior bowl, 11 and a half. Yeah. Can we have a look? Can yeah. we? Oh, my gosh. That's like Javon Kurth. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, they measured it out. Uh, you know, if I was pressing flat against the table, they'd be like 11 and three-fourths, but they measured uh, They measured here just standing up, so it's pretty crazy. Serious question. How do they help you blocking somebody? Um, you know, once I get the mitts on them, I can get better grips, um, especially if I'm shooting for, like, shoulder pad. I can slide down into, you know, right, above the, right below the armpit. So, I mean, it just helps having bigger hands, uh, flashing hands. People think, oh, uh, like – the mitts are coming, so they can definitely uh, try to swipe, and I can just kind of retract and you know engage. Sounds strange to talk to any offensive lineman, but you really have big man size. Yeah. You, I mean, you you could play tackle. Uh, you would be a tremendous guard. Yep. Do you have a preference with your physical gifts as a big man who's an extra large big man in terms of where you play in the NFL? Uh, I definitely don't have a preference. My biggest thing is I'm gonna come in and do a job. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we're all going in to take somebody else's job. And uh, the mindset is, you know, I love football, and I don't think anything's going to stop me from playing a position in the next level. What's the best thing you do as an offensive lineman? I have that mentality of grit. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a grown-ass man out there or a guy who's my age. Um, I'm coming in to take a job, and I'm coming in to bully the, def the defenders when uh, I'm in there. What is the thing that you need to improve upon or develop the most as you go to the pro game, knowing that as you take the next step, you've always got to continue improving? Uh, te technical aspects, man. Uh, everything on the next level is technical. Yeah, you can have the right mindset. You can have the right mentality. You can, uh, you know, give 100% effort every time. But if uh, you're out there just kind of flailing around, not you, you're right, using right footwork, right hands, uh, right le eye level, uh, it's not going to help you at all. In the NFL, you got to block some nasty dudes. But in the SEC, you've already had to block some nasty dudes yeah. who are already playing in the NFL. How prepared do you feel because you've played this level of competition? Um, I think a lot of people go to the SEC just because of the fact, uh, you know, it's one of the biggest, biggest pots the NFL likes to pull from, and you get a lot of those monsters from the SEC. So uh, I think it's helped prepare me, and I feel very confident going in. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to come in and walk in and just know everything right away. I'm going to have to learn. Uh, I'm going to have to come in and develop. But uh, I feel like it's definitely helped me uh, have the right foot forward and maybe be a couple steps ahead of other guys. So we look for an interesting fact on every draftee. Yeah. You, do you know which one I'm coming with here? Dolly Parton. <laughs> so you are distantly related yep. to the greatest woman who ever lived, Dolly Parton. Yep. I, do you know her at all? Uh, I've not met her personally. My aunt Georgia grew up with her right on the, on the same street. And the funny story is they actually grew up and learned how to drive together. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So you, by virtue of all of that, you, you drive with Dolly Parton. Virtue, yeah. By virtue. <laughs>